Hey guys, it's Craigery96, and I've decided that I'm going to take a little break from toilet videos and show you something different. Now, as you, as you just saw, I was recording this in Cam Studio, which personally I believe is the better version of Hypercam, because the audio isn't really all that bad. So, what I'm going to show you today is how to change the shell in... Windows 95, Windows 98, and Windows Millennium Edition computers. Now, I don't have a good copy of Windows 98 and Windows Millennium Edition, so I'm just going to show you how to do this in 95. It's the same either way. So, we'll start it up. Of course, I have those errors because of some of the things I didn't set up with 95. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so start it up now. Oh yeah, I gotta wait for scan disk because I set it to run every time. Why is the mouse going haywire? What in the hell? Mouse pointer integration isn't even on. Well. Yeah. Okay, so you go to run. It's already typed in system.ini. And it's going to open Notepad. So, come down here to the thing that says show. You put a semicolon in front of that to disable the Explorer show. And then you type in show equals progman.exe. So you save that. And <coughs> God. you don't shut down your computer, you restart it. Don't restart it in DOS mode because that's going to screw everything up. <coughs> God. really hard to speak mucus out when you have braces. Anyway, so, okay, okay, and there you go. Started it with the program manager as the shell. Now, if you, if you want to go back to normal, you just pretty much just do the same thing, except this time you don't have the start menu, so you go to file run and then system.ini well I guess for right now I could show you what oh not maximize oh hold on tile okay no oh yeah I have to open them all up first not that one yet okay now tile okay so system tools 
We've got scan disk, disk defragmented resource, system monitor, net watcher, and box repair tool. Okay, so there's that. Games, obviously, Minesweeper, Hearts, Freestyle, and Solitaire. <sighs> Stupid mouse is gonna piss me off. Internet tools, you've got Internet Explorer, which, um, oh yeah, you don't have right click. Um, properties, obviously, Internet Explorer, blah blah blah, and your Internet Setup Wizard. Programs, you got your DOS prompt. You got the Microsoft Network and Microsoft Exchange. Just that if you don't know, that's your email. Documents, you got README. Accessories. Paint, calculator, WordPad, dial up networking, direct cable to connection. Multimedia. Sound recorder, volume control, media player, and CD player. Desktop, there's nothing. I don't know why. And then your main is Windows Explorer, another DOS prompt thing, and file manager. I don't know where the F the control panel went. So, come back to what I was saying about changing it back. You just go in here and delete the line shell equals progman.exe, space again, and delete the semicolon, save it. Exit and exit the program manager. This will end your Windows session, of course. Well, I don't know why it doesn't ever give you the option to restart, so we'll just start it this way. Not really too much of a difference of time, basically. So, let's wait for everything to load. And yes, you did notice that I have plus on here, so I have all different kinds of access to different themes and stuff, but most of the themes that are available in plus do not like this particular virtual box because you can't install VM editions on monolithic kernel PCs like 95, 98, and Millennium Edition, or 3.1. It really makes me mad because it only displays in 16 colors on here. So, okay, okay. And you're back to normal. You can do, just remember, just use the same step, the same exact steps for Windows 98 and Windows Millennium Edition. Windows 3.1, obviously, that won't work because you know, the program manager is already the default shell and Explorer hadn't even been invented yet. So, there you go. This, is Gregory 90, this has been Gregory96 and I hope that this video helps you. Thank you. I'll see you guys later.